This is the second part of the interview with Dr. Steve Pratt and Dr. Mark Schurkert about tourism development in Democratic People's Republic of Korea or North Korea. So is it a good idea to visit North Korea? Does visiting North Korea means you are supporting uh, the political regime? In, and does it apply also to visiting other destinations with uh, controversial political uh, systems? What's your take, Marcus? Well, thank you for letting me start. So the I think, um, of course, there is a there is always a spillover to to uh, or into politics. From a different point um, of view, when I got out of the bus, I I went to 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 a booth selling uh, cookies. So basically, the, the little money I spent, which was little for me, but uh, uh, basically a huge amount for this person, this probably will, will stay at this person's hand. Um, I spent um, uh, a little amount of money to, to just get an entertainment um, in a very rural village, so just to kill time. And I think this, this money as well will stay with these people somehow. So. Um, there is, at least I believe, there is local, you have also impact on the locals. And I think this is the most important part, they, that um, people get in touch with each other and, um, and this is how you maybe you bring some experience, change or you name it. But for me, I, there's two arguments, isn't there? So, some people say we shouldn't be supporting the evil regime, the humanitarian abuses uh, for a regime such as uh, North Korea. Well, I mean, how far do you want to push it? Because, I mean, you can look at Australia uh, and their uh, poor rights uh, or poor record of uh, human rights with the indigenous Australians. Uh, you can look at the USA. People are not going to visit there because uh, of um, you know, systemic uh, racism and systemic um, discrimination against certain groups. So I can see the point, people say, well, I'm not going to go to North Korea. The flip side is a similar argument that Marcus made, okay, if we go there, we can at least see, we don't have to listen to the propaganda from, from let's say, the Western media, in the case of Korea, North Korea, we can see for ourselves what, what takes place. Uh, if, if there is any, any abuses, if um, uh, on the flip side of that again, in some way, so controlled as North Korea, and Marcus had a different experience to me, but I didn't get a chance to really interact that much with any local people. I mean, part of the reason is, you know, I, don't, I can't speak Korean, but I only really had contact with my business, uh, the business people there, the government officials, and some tour guides. So, of course, you get a little bit of a look into it, but, okay, these, aren't, these people are already involved in the in the sort of hosting of international visitors. So, you know, to, to what extent are they telling you what, what, what an everyday common person will be telling you is also uh, debatable. 